Well, first of all, I don't think people should be too pissed off. Um, you know, there's, I think the, the fault a lot of people are making is that they are way too reliant on Facebook. Um, Facebook's a business, and yes, it's frustrating what they've done because I think brands over the last couple of years have spent a huge amount of money building up their communities, thinking that it's a cost-effective platform to reach them, which, which it largely is. However, with the algorithm change and the need for Facebook to commercialize their business even more, um, it's putting a lot more restrictions onto, onto brands. However, uh, Facebook is still very, very powerful. And within a short space of time, we'll, we'll, we'll be in a position where we'll have to pay essentially for every single post. Uh, for instance, a brand like Nike, who has 16 million followers, the, with orga their organic reach, they're now going to be reaching 160,000 of their fans without any paid media. And let's just hope that those 160,000 fans actually went onto Facebook that particular day. So it's hugely concerning, but um, you know, our business has never is never really reliant on one platform. And I think brands need to to start looking to, at new ways of of innovating and using data a lot more strategically. And um, you know, paid media is a critical part of any communications plan. All it means is that um, brands and, and their media partners are going to have to look at their media uh, strategy slightly different. The, the reality is, is that the consumers are still on Facebook. The fact that you have to pay to reach them is just part of, part of, part of the growth which we're experiencing. However, I would also urge brands not to put all their eggs in one basket because Facebook is one of, of many platforms which are incredibly powerful. And on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis, they're new platforms. A lot of them don't succeed, but all you need is one which does. And then, then it's, it's open playing, playing field again. So um, our advice to, to, to clients is to, not, is to be aware of it, first of all, and to ensure that they do have some form of paid media budget to ensure that we're still able to reach their, their audience and also to start exploring new ways of obtaining data from their, their customers. Also, um, look at new, new platforms which, are, which exist. Don't be so reliant on Facebook because uh, I, for one, certainly don't want to be held ransom um, and brands shouldn't either. It's a lot more effective than um, traditional communication and for, for one second I'm not saying that traditional communication isn't or advertising isn't, isn't good because it is. Um, you just have to define what the role of it is and yes Facebook is still um, in terms of their, their costing model is still affordable and the beauty of Facebook is that it's so targeted so although you have a paid media component the reality is that you're going to be able to reach your target your audience a lot more effectively than, than what you do, would do in either print or outdoor or TV. So there's three things which the experts say, and there are lots of experts, um, say that we should be kind of, which is the future of digital marketing, and that is content, data, and mobile. And um, the role of data, it, it's, you're taking traditional principles of CRM and you're adapting it to social media. And the reality is that, is that your audience is on social media and so on social media platforms. But because you don't own any of these platforms, you don't effectively own the data of those clients. So we need to be smart about how do we incentivize, how do we strategize, how do we implement mechanics which allows us to capture data of our users so that that, that, that actually belongs to us. Because as Nick, Facebook's a great example right now. Brands have spent millions of rands investing in their, in their Facebook pages. If Facebook were to suddenly turn off their servers, brands have lost millions. So, um, you know, it's, it's, again, it's, it's a complex um, conversation, very simple to understand in terms of work out ways to incentivize your audience, work out ways to understand your audience, and that's through profiling, segmentation, um, understanding what do people talk about, what do people like, um, your friends of friends, who do they like? You know, there's, 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 there's many, many ways to skin this cat, but, and there are lots of agencies who can help um, clients do this, but I think mo most importantly, agencies, or sorry, brands, needs to, needs to buy into the vision, and they need to understand that having, owning data, owning their customers' data is even more important now than ever.